Have any moderation tools been used to remove content on TikTok associated with the Uyghur genocide? Yes or no? We do not remove uh, that kind of content. TikTok is a place of freedom of, ex of expression and challenges, like I said. If you use our app, you can Thank go you. on it and you will see a lot of users around the world Thank expressing you. content in, on that topic and many others. Thank you. What about the massacre in Tiananmen Square, yes or no? I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. Uh, the massacre in Tiananmen Square. That kind of content is available on our platform. You can go and search it. I will remind you that making false or misleading statements to Congress is a federal crime. I understand. Uh, again, okay. if you go on our thank platform, you, you will find question. that content. Okay, thank you. Reclaiming my time, can you say with 100% certainty that ByteDance or the CCP cannot use your company or its divisions to heat content to promote pro-CCP messages for an act of aggression against Taiwan? We do not promote or remove content at the request of the, the question, Chinese government. The question, is, we will replain the question is, are you 100% certain that they cannot use your company to promote such messages? It is our commitment to this committee and all our users that we will keep this free from any manipulation by any okay. government. If you can't say 100% certain, I take that as a no. As I previously referenced, TikTok spied on American journalists. Can you say with 100% certainty that neither ByteDance nor TikTok employees can target other Americans with similar surveillance techniques? Chair Rogers, I first of all disagree with the characterization that is spying. Um, it was an internal investigation. Yes on, or no? Can you do surveillance of other Americans? We, we will protect the U.S. user data and fire it all from all unwanted foreign access. It's a commitment that we've given to the committee. So, so I guess my question is, are, can you... I want you to. I wanted to hear you say with 100% certainty that neither ByteNest nor TikTok employees can target other Americans with civ similar surveillance techniques as you did with the journalist. Again, I, I don't disagree with the characterization. Characterization is surveillance, and we have given our commitments, Chair Rogers. The four commitments. I think it's our commitment that we will not be influenced by any government on these issues. DO DOJ is investigating this this surveillance right now. To the American people watching today, hear this, TikTok is a weapon by the Chinese Communist Party to spy on you, manipulate what you see, and exploit for future generations. A ban is only a short-term way to address TikTok, and a data privacy bill is the only way to stop TikTok from ever happening again in the United States. I yield back. 